One common concern with attenuated vaccines is that people are afraid that because it's a live virus, that it's going to suddenly revert back to its human form or its original human uh, virus and cause real infection, real disease, and also be contagious. Uh, I want to show you a little more details about why uh, the likelihood of a virus, a vaccine virus, reverting back to its original form is very, very unlikely. So if you remember, the first reason is from our last episode, is that we passage the virus over 80, over 100 times in the non-human host. And so it, it acquires little by little these adaption mutations. Um, so if you acquire those, all those different mutations, the chances of during one um, replication cycle of all of those mutations to revert back to its original wild type form, that's very unlikely. It's like one in a billion likelihood of that happening. And I did mention that this has happened once. There was one case of a, um, of a patient who got the polio vaccine, which is a, a, there's a live attenuated form, um, and this patient actually had a reversion back where she, then she got an actual polio virus infection. Um, but this likelihood is extremely rare. You're more likely to be hit by a car when you're walking on the sidewalk. Um, so it's a very low chance of that happening. Second, just a little bit more visualization of the uh, inability of the virus to replicate after it's been attenuated. So a few virus-related terms up here. Viremia, um, we're going to talk about that a little. That's the measurement of infectiousness of a virus. So basically that's just saying how well is this virus able to replicate inside its host. So if we look on the graph, we have on this axis the number of infectious virus particles. And particles we would just mean an individual virus. Um, the other term for that is called virion. If you're reading a paper you might come across that. Um, then down here on this axis, we have days post-infection. So I just want to show you that here we have a natural measles infection where a host gets sick, um, uh, sorry, a host gets infected with measles and after a period of time, we have a huge increase in the number of infectious virus particles that have been made. Um, so it's a huge thing, let's call it 1000x. These are all just kind of relative numbers. But then when we have the, the vaccine measles virus that has been attenuated and adapted many, many times in a non-human host, you can see that you know only 20 virus particles are made. So this is not enough to make you sick and it's not enough to make you contagious. Why is that? Because our immune system, it was activated by this little uh, amount of virus and it's able to wipe this out because it's just such a small amount we can get rid of that really fast um, before you feel sick and before you're able to pass it on um, and then down here at the bottom uh, I have some examples of this so it's not just measles virus that's attenuated if you've ever heard of the flu mist so not the flu shot which is an injection and an inactivated vaccine but there's the flu mist which is a little uh, liquid squeeze up the nose. Um, this is a, actually an attenuated influenza virus vaccine. Um, and it was also attenuated through a different process using temperature changes. And we're gonna go into more details that in a lecture. Um, so yeah, basically again, attenuation is all about adapting the virus or other pathogen to a new environment um, and you do this over many, many different cycles so that by the time you inject it into the human again, it's become very inefficient at replicating. And this is not enough to make you sick because your immune system can just wipe that out super fast before you feel sick and before you can pass it on.